mystery of stuff. Local farmer wanders through jungle and discovers the world's largest cave. Local farmer wanders through jungle and discovers the world's largest cave. Located in the heart of the UNESCO listed Phong Nac Bang National Park in Vietnam's Quang Binh Province, Hang Son Dune is one of the most captivating destinations that can be experienced in Southeast Asia. More people have stood on the summit of Mount Everest than have witnessed the serene beauty inside these enormous chambers. Translated as Mountain River Cave, it was first discovered in 1990 by Ho Khan, a local farmer who was seeking shelter from a passing storm in the jungle. He noticed clouds and the sound of an underground river gushing from a large hole in the limestone, and reported his findings to the British Caving Research Association BCRA, who were stationed in Phong Nhat at the time. It was a balmy April day in Vietnam when a local farmer had decided to explore the jungles near his home. He was surrounded by the sounds of bird calls and buzzing insects but he overhead something unusual over the din of the jungle, the sound of wind whistling through something. But what Ho Khan was about to discover, was perhaps the most significant geographic discovery of the past 50 years. In the heart of the steaming Vietnam jungle, nestled in between mountains lies a cavern. Sun Dung Cave, which is located in Quang Binh Province, Vietnam, is not your average cave. It is a place where primeval relics from prehistoric times lurk behind every corner. If one makes their way through the Quang Binh jungle, traversing past the dense foliage, the crushing heat, the choking humidity, they too can find this ancient cave. Many would say that the journey is worth it, and indeed, these pictures certainly describe something that is both immense and unique in the world. The name Sundun translates to Mountain River Cave and it is named thus, because of the ancient river that wound its way through the limestone underneath the mountain over the course of two five million years. Yet Sun Dune's age is not nearly the most remarkable thing about it. Sun Dune Cave is the biggest cave in the world. It is over 5.5 miles long, meaning that you could easily fit a 40-story skyscraper inside it. It also has a river flowing inside of it and even has a fully-fledged jungle. Of course, the cave was relatively unknown to the world up until about 26 years ago. Sun Dune Cave was only discovered in 1991 when a local man by the name of Ho Khan who was traversing the jungle, happened to hear some rushing water coming from an immense cavern before him. When he tried to investigate further, he found the entrance to be far too steep to safely enter alone. Still, the whistling sound of wind and the roar of the rushing water in the cave was enough to entice him. When he returned home, he told people of the cave he'd seen and in no time at all. Local people began coming to Sun Dune to investigate for themselves. It wasn't until 18 years later, however, that the world at large learned of the cave. It wasn't until April of 2009 that the cave became internationally known. A group of cave explorers from the British Cave Research Association led by Howard Limbert decided to conduct a survey in the area. They were among the first individuals to enter the cave properly and what they discovered was startling. Of course, their progress through Sun Dune was eventually stopped by a large, 200-foot-high wall made of calcite, which they named the Great Wall of Vietnam. A year later, in 2010, another group traversed past it and finally reached the end of the cave. Anyone who stays in the cave for an extended period of time, on one of the many tours available these days, will spend the first night camping next to one of Sun Dune's greatest sights, the Hand of Dog. This enormous stalactite is named as such because of the resemblance it bears to a dog's paw. Parts of Sun Dune's roof seems to have collapsed some time ago, centuries in fact. In the time in between, it appears that a lush jungle has taken root, complete with all manner of creatures including monkeys and flying foxes. But this Garden of Eden isn't the only amazing life that has blossomed in the humongous cave. Anxious spelunkers who explore the cave can find huge fields of algae that have risen from the dozens of ancient pools since Sun Dune. These green fields of algae seem to blanket the cave floor, creating a beautiful but slippery carpet for explorers to traverse on their way deeper into the caves. 
Sun Dune also contains a king's ransom in a rare geometric feature known as cave pearls. The pearls are formed over hundreds of years by the slow dripping of water which then dries up and leaves layers of spherical calcite crystals. And Sun Dune has many more amazing features for the brave and affluent explorer. In places where the limestone was weakest, the ceiling has collapsed. These natural skylights create amazing patterns of foliage and are responsible for providing sustenance to the hundreds of plants that have made their home in this forbidding place. Over the past several decades, scientists have discovered never-before-seen plant species that have seemed to thrive around Sun Dunes waterfalls and along the banks of the huge and winding river that wends its way through the immense maze of caverns. Sun Dunes Main Cave Passage is the largest known cave passage in the world by volume. Measuring an enormous 38.4 times 106 cubic meters, it is more than 3.1 miles long, 660 feet high, and 490 feet wide. The cave itself runs for approximately 5.6 miles and contains two large delines, or areas where the ceiling of the cave has collapsed to allow sunlight into the formerly deep, dark hole. The best part about Sun Dew, is that it is now open to the public and people, those with enough money anyway, can come and explore it whenever they like. Sun Dew has recently been touted as the largest cave in the world, though, some others are slightly longer or deeper. Mammoth Cave in Brownsville, Kentucky is the longest cave at about 400 miles and Kruber Cave in Georgia is the deepest. Still, the novelty of Sun Dew has made it a popular tourist location. Oxalis, a tour company based out of Vietnam has been running trial tours of the cave for several years now. Those lucky few who have entered and explored Sun Dew so far, like photographer John Spies for example, have emerged with some of the most incredible photos. John Spies is a professional photographer based out of Mae Hong Son Province, Thailand. There, he runs, Cave Lodge, a mountain guest house that gives would-be spelunkers a place to stay before they head out for their cave trips. Those who explore Sun Dew, rappel over 80 meters down into the cave. Today, plans are being considered to build a cable car that will run through the cave. The track would be over 6.5 miles long and would cost an astonishing $200 million to build. Environmentalists are obviously opposed to disturbing the delicate ecosystem of the cave. For now the locals of Phong Nha relish in this new opportunity that the colossal caves have given them, and Hang Sun Du remains as beautiful as ever. Mystery of Stuff 